robots have been our friends and enemies in countless games, and it was time we figured out the buckets of bolts that rank among our favorites. Since the primary function of a real robot is to assist its creator, we chose to put these in order of usefulness and reliability. We'd be happy to have these constructs by our side, whether they'd be joining us in battle or cleaning our house. There's a difference between robots and cyborgs, or mechs, so we excluded anything that used to be human or requires a human to operate. These robots are their own masters, and will be around long after our kind has gone extinct. Thirteen years before Wally hit theaters, Vector Man was assigned to clean the polluted Earth that humans left behind. When he returns from one of his toxic waste drop-off trips to the sun, Vector Man finds his garbage planet under the control of one unstable evil robot with a nuclear bomb for a head. Vector Man could turn around and fly straight back into space, and no one would judge him. But no. Despite the fact that his job is serving as janitor for an abandoned, radioactive world with a population of zero, Vector Man stays, and Vector Man fights. Thank you, Vector Man. They say, war never changes. But you can make the aftermath a little more livable with your very own robot butler, courtesy of the Mr. Handy-style robot, Wadsworth. He can help you redecorate, he can cut your hair, he can give you clean water to drink, he can make you laugh. Limit one joke per day. But mostly, he makes your horrible shack in the middle of a nuclear wasteland really feel like home. So get a clue and get Wadsworth today. This foul-mouthed killer is the most infamous character to emerge from Bioware's Knights of the Old Republic franchise, making more appearances in other games than even the mighty Darth Revan. Starring in KOTOR 1 and 2, he also showed up in both Star Wars MMOs. He's a ruthless assassin and offers up some of the best comedic relief in the celebrated RPG series. While we have no doubts about his skills when it comes to erasing worthless meatbags from the galaxy, we might question employing him as a full-time companion. He might suddenly decide to kill us in our sleep. Remembered by many as one of the console's most underrated titles, Chibi Robo dazzled on the GameCube and beckoned players to plug into adventure with the game's eponymous hero. In the game, the diminutive Chibi Robo joins the Sanderson household as a helper bot, performing good deeds for the family. However, when the family hits a rough patch, Chibi steps up to the plate, taking on all the household chores and eventually saving them from a group of rogue toys bent on destroying the Sandersons, proving that sometimes even the tiniest of technical wonders can hold the biggest of hearts. In an effort to replace human combatants and cyborgs in the never-ending proxy wars, it was deemed necessary for a robot to make intelligent decisions and react under pressure. The LQ-84I was built as a prototype and later named Blade Wolf. Despite achieving the goals of intellect and free thought, he lacked brutality, and the program was subsequently shut down. The PMC Desperado Enforcement activated him years later and forced him to fight under their command. But it wasn't until Raiden defeated and later rebuilt him that Blade Wolf was finally free to act on his own. Mass Effect is filled to the brim with unique races and personalities, but the renegade Geth Soldier Legion leaves one of the most lasting impressions. Its mission begins as one of curiosity. Legion follows the path of the saga's main character, Shepard, and eventually joins the squad, if you choose. Its incisive logic can sometimes be mistaken for both compassion and cold-blooded realism, either of which makes for some of the most entertaining and dramatic moments in the series. Legion's actions continue to brush closer to emotional as the story goes on, from using the broken armor of Shepard to patch its wounds, to its unwavering intent to vindicate the Geth race. In the end, Legion manages to give a robot more depth of character than almost all of its squishy humanoid counterparts.
constructed by the brilliant Eli Vance to protect his daughter Alex, Dog is loyal, playful, and a force to be reckoned with. For such a massive chunk of metal, it can be surprisingly gentle if you're someone it considers a friend. Gordon Freeman is saved by Dog several times throughout Half-Life 2 and its two follow-up episodes, opening up passages and even taking down a Strider with its bare hands. We can imagine a thousand uses for a robot like Dog, other than playing fetch. And it's a tragedy, we may never team up with it again. In a game that starts with swords and sorcery, finding a friendly robot in the midst of a decaying future is a pleasant turn of events. With an exhaust pipe on his back and strips of leather decorating his frame, he still seems to be built with some medieval sensibility. Despite his heavy frame, his movements portray a light-hearted personality, and he loyally protects his newfound friends. In combat, he sports some great attacks including rocket-powered punches, lasers, and bombs, and he makes a great companion for the bright and inventive Luca. Clank was born as XJ0461 in a robot factory on the planet Quartu. Years later, it was revealed his zony father Orvis was responsible for the events that set him on his path to save the universe. He is as loyal as he is wise, and even though Ratchet takes most of the glory when defeating the galaxy's biggest threats, Clank is the true brains of the operation. After finally learning about his mysterious past, Clank became rightful custodian of the Great Clock, a powerful device in the center of the universe that has the ability to manipulate time and dimensional rifts. However, his loyalty to his friends is too powerful, so Clank decides to leave it in the hands of Sigmund, freeing himself from the obligation of Timekeeper and staying by Ratchet's side for the foreseeable future. the most beloved and iconic video game characters, Mega Man is a special robot. Created by Dr. Light, he was originally constructed to be the doctor's lab assistant, but later volunteered to be converted into the fighting robot we know today to defend humanity from Dr. Wily's evil robot masters. Equipped with his iconic blue ceritanium armor and the Mega Buster, Mega Man gained several upgrades to his equipment throughout the series, including a charge shot, slide dash, and wall jump. Mega Man spawned several spin-offs, including the X and Legend series, along with guest spots in other games, including Smash Bros. on Wii U. No matter how challenging the mission becomes, Mega Man doesn't quit. We couldn't think of a better buddy to bring into battle. This week, more is revealed about Hogger's past, and Andre stirs up more trouble on a new adventurous episode of Tabletop Adventures. And you can check out the first hour or so of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with the man who reviewed it for us, Daniel Bloodworth, on our second channel, GT Reviews. We'll see you next Friday for another GT Countdown.